Hello and welcome to February's Grizzlies newscast and an update on March basketball playoffs. I'm Bernardo Martinez. And I'm Matthew Nolasco. Last month, we decided to do a piece on the different clubs at Lawton High School. Aside from FFA, which is a co-curricular program, the high school offers ex extracurricular clubs that students can join. We offer club life for the middle school students and Friday night life for the high school students. The Culture Club, California Scholastic Federation, and Peace Mediators. Recent errands both caught up with the advisors and leaders of the clubs to find out what they are all about. Louise? Baron Naden here with Kylie. We're just trying to figure out the upcoming events in FFA for this month and upcoming months and what the anticipation in your classes are for these events. Yeah, so um, March 11th is our CSU Chico Field Day and uh, we have our horse judging teams going, our livestock judging teams, our um, small engines, and also we are, um, this is the first competition we're taking a dairy judging team. So we're pretty excited about that. Hopefully we'll get our information we need to know and it'll be a good experience. And then on um, March 15th and 16th is the regional meeting and we have a um, nominee, which is Madeline Williams. She's running for regional office, so that's kind of a big deal for our chapter, and we just wish her good luck and hope she does well. And yeah, and then we also at that meeting, our state degrees are being awarded, and we have eight degrees that are being given out. Uh, four of them are juniors and four are seniors. So yeah, it's a busy month for us. And Which event are you anticipating the most? I'm excited for CSU Chico Field Day because I'll be on the dairy team and that's kind of a first thing for us, so I'm excited to be a part of that. Okay, well good luck. Thank you, Kylie. Thank you. Nice job, Aaron and Luis. So come on out, kids, and participate in the extracurricular activities at LHS. On Thursday, March 2nd, the seniors participate in the annual mock job interview activity all morning. Career technician Amy Filippini organized a structured interview experience which included 17 community members representing professionals from many different sectors. Seniors, went with, seniors met with a handful of professionals to test out their job interview skills and learn how to present their best selves with the mission of getting a job in the future. Congratulations to all seniors and thank you community for support of our students. Winterfest came and went this year with a great celebration of our 2016-2017 basketball season and of our terrific candidates. Running for Prince this year were fr freshman Connor Haywood, sophomore Matt Stosin, and junior Benny Tidwell. The King candidates were Edgar Baeza, Jimmy Morrison, and Quentin Atseth. All the candidates did a great job campaigning and showing off the wild side of the Winterfest rally, but only one Prince and one King could come out victorious and crown crowns went to Matt Stosin and Jimmy Morrison. Congratulations to the co entire Winterfest court. In high school sports news, basketball has come to an end for both of our boys' teams. Our JV team ended their season with a record of 2-10, losing their last game against Greenville. Our varsity boys finished their season with a record of 13-11, making it to playoffs, but coming up short at a spectacular game against Biggs High School, with the final score being 54-66. What a great season for both of our teams. Very intense game, Matt, it was. Great seasons. <laughs> Our varsity girls have an outstanding season, holding their record of 24-1, with them winning league and making it to the first round of playoffs. Again, they played against ACA. They took, they took the win at home against ACA, moving on to play in the Division VI championship game against Fall River. Sadly, the Grizz lost to the Bulldogs by one point after a heartbreaking buzzer beater from just over the half-court line, giving them second in our division, division, region's Division VI the Grizzlies came back with a vengeance from the no, for the No Cal Div Championship Series, easily beating the Emory Spartans 83 to 35 at home, and then coming out with the victory at the semifinal round against Rincon Valley Christian Academy, crushing the Eagles 41 to 35. Both those games very intense, very man. intense, fun to watch. Finally on Tuesday, they traveled to the Fall River for the rematch of the century to take on the Bulldogs one last time and take the NorCal Championship trophy. The game was intense from the outset with the Grizz ahead and clearly stronger for the majority of the game. But once again, the Bulldogs came back from behind to catch up and in the last 11 seconds, the Bulldogs pulled ahead with a quick shot and won the game by one point. We are so proud of this varsity team for their strength, skill, and teamwork. Congratulations ladies on your ter terrific season and being NorCal Division 6 runner-ups. 
You are all champions, champions in our eyes. I'm Bernardo Martinez. And I'm Matthew Velasco. Join us here next time.